is not that a comedy one, at all. Is that when I'm the little snooty girl? You are you are the girl who pulls the fire alarm and then the firemen come to the to the <laughs> to the house. You say to Marianne, what's that? I yes. don't know. Well just try it. And yeah, then you try it. Of and then the firemen came. Yes, <laughs> I always did like that. They were all over the place. I always did like men in uniform. <laughs> 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 but it was a sad movie. It, it was not as funny as The Silence. Well, a lot of the movies were sad, but that's because mm -hmm. comedy is sad. Look at Chaplin, for heaven's well, sake. Well, that's true. That's true. Look at him. And the things that... Uh, what, oh, when he has the, the little flower girl. Mm -hmm. and the blind flower girl. Yes. Yeah, I, know. I mean, my goodness, how sad it would be. But this is... This is why I say comedy is tragedy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you only, I mean, uh, you, you laugh because he, they, they, they get the white paint all over everything and, and yeah. the, they've ruined everything with the paint. But it's funny because yeah. the paint is gone. Well, we laugh at things that are hurtful. I mean, like they mm -hmm. have this, this television thing now uh, outtakes that people send them their 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 clips and what are they you watch these clips and what are they there are people falling mm -hmm. uh, tripping uh, animals uh, might as well be dying you don't know no. because something awful has happened to them yes. Children, everything is everything is something awful has mm -hmm. happened to people at a wedding, she slips and she falls at oh, her yeah. wedding, and yeah, all yeah. of these things that are yeah. so tragic because this is a wonderful day of <laughs> happiness. Yeah. They're on their holidays <laughs> and this awful thing, and we sit and laugh like mm -hmm. idiots. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're and right we, about and that. And it's yeah. tragedy. Right the, everything yeah. is tragedy, and that's why people say they, they say mm -hmm. comedy it isn't. It's tragedy, and that's why. Comedians are good at tragedy because that's all they have been doing for years. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there were certain uh, certain things in the Arkan comedies, mm -hmm. uh, certain situations that mm -hmm. returned. Uh, for instance, uh, the boys fighting for a girl, uh, yes. as uh, Joe and Chubby did for yes. you in, in yes. boxing gloves. And they're right. And yeah. you, you wanted to have. Uh, uh, mm, I'm pop. so thirsty. <laughs> And, and then they start a fight, mm -hmm. they are going to, to get you, uh, you a drink, yes. rip each other's pants off. Yes. But it's very funny because you all, we already know what your intention is. You overhear them talking about you, we won't fight over Jean anymore. Yes. And we can see you think, well, wait well, about, I'll fix, their I'll wagon. fix you. Yeah. <laughs> And that, that's a very funny scene from Boxing Gloves. I think, I think the opening from that short is is better than the second half, which is a boxing mm. match, of course. It was a very nice beginning. Well, one of the movies that, uh, and I don't, I never understood Crazy House, why it wasn't mentioned in the Art Gang book, mm -hmm. because uh, Art Lloyd did something that was quite avant-garde at the time. Uh, I don't know, have you seen Crazy House? I have seen uh, Crazy House, yes. I, I know uh, when you come out of the bed, uh, the girlfriends of your mother are there, and then you, you ask the woman, uh, where is your other face? Mm -hmm. And she replies to you, uh, what do you mean? Well, ma Mama said you were two-faced. Two -faced. <laughs> yes. I well, have there seen are, uh, the There movie. are two things in there. One that was a personal thing that happened, and the other was uh, Art Lloyd, took the gang and put them on the table where mm -hmm. I'm sitting there in the chair dreaming of the gang and the little gang is playing on the yeah. table. Well, that was very avant-garde uh, to do that yeah. in the movies, to, mm -hmm. to, to put the little gang there. And the other thing that happened was that the chair I'm in now that you see in the picture was not the chair that I was originally in. I was in a gilt chair and I banged, that was where I banged my head back and nailed my head to the chair. That was the movie I did that in. And they had to cut out, mm -hmm. came and sawed it out, and, and, and Stanny came over and did an eccentric dance to keep me from crying. Uh, but I never understood why, if you're talking about a movie, why you, why that wasn't mentioned to this wonderful mm -hmm. uh, illusion of these little gang yeah, playing because on the it table. Was because very it was, nice. it was yes, very nice. It was very nice. It was very I know, thing. but that was, that was, 
they, you didn't do things like that in photography then. It was very nice. But it was a lovely thing, and I don't yeah. know why that wasn't mentioned, because that was something that was ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. Well, you felt very comfortable with the gang. You told me a few times you uh, would have loved to stay some, some more eh, with them. Oh, yes, make it more, would have been more much. Movies. Well, it just, it's, I think it's because I have never belonged anywhere. Um, you know, like everybody has a family. I didn't. I had only my mother, mm -hmm. and I never know I had any family because my mother and my my father left because he didn't want my mother to put me in movies, and she did. Yeah. And uh, I never have belonged. Even today, I I don't I don't belong anywhere. I have things that belong to me, like my animals. Actually, in life, those are the only things that really belong to you. If mm -hmm. you think of it, is an animal. Yeah. Because people don't, they come and go. Even children, that's true. You, they're borrowed while they're little, mm -hmm. and then uh, they go on and be themselves. Mm -hmm. But it was the idea that I belonged there, and then when I went back to the road lot, uh, anywhere you are during your life, you're in a club. If you're in an office, you're in a club. If you are a salesperson, you're in a shop, you're in a club. And the minute you leave to do something else, you're no longer a member of that club. Mm -hmm. And you can come and you can, but you're an outsider. It's a, there's a glass wall between you and it. And like when I went back in the gang, I wasn't any on the lot. And I was no longer a member of the gang and I went back for uh, babes. Uh, Everybody was nice to me, everybody liked me, mm -hmm. but I was no longer belong. Yeah, well, you felt... I was an outsider. You was an outsider, but you felt very comfortable to be, to be back on oh, the road yes, lot. Oh, yes, it was nice. In the big set eh, from Babes in Toyland. Oh, yes, that was one built for that. Yeah, but you played Curly Locks. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, some of your uh, footage that, that you uh, recorded for the movie uh, has been cut out it's or gone. disappeared. It's disappeared, it's gone. yes. And maybe uh, you could tell us uh, what the scene was about. Well, there were a lot of scenes. I had a scene when I was with uh, with uh, Bo Peep. When the uh, Harry Bo Peep will find your sheep. Well, I had a little bit of it with her. Mm -hmm. And they were humming in the background. And that's all gone. Uh, they were just and I sat down beside her on the log and I had her arm around her and I was comforting her. Mm. That's gone. Uh, when uh, when um, Johnny Downs and I, Boy Blue and I, face Barnaby, that's gone. We, we uh, said, Barnaby, you shouldn't do this to blah, 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 you know, because he's gonna take the shoe away and, uh, or throw him out of the shoe. And uh, then the, the schoolroom scene. And the schoolroom scene was the uh, Stan and Babe, or uh, what, uh, Tweedle, Holly, and Dumb. Yes, Stanny Dumb, Dumb and Ollie D. Yeah. Uh, they uh, don't know what to do, and so they're talking, and they come past the school, and they look in, and they see the teacher is teaching us. And when she's teaching us, uh, they say, well, well, we'll wait to ask her what we should do. And we'll wait until she's finished. And so she sings, If a steamship weighed 10,000 ton and sailed 5,000 miles, With a cargo large of overshoes and carving knives and piles, If the mates were over six feet high and the bosun near the same, would you subtract or multiply to find the captain's name? Then I said, ooh, 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 ooh. Then we had slates. Put down six and carry two. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gee, but this is hard to do. Says, I can't do this 
some. And then she'd give us another one. And the chorus, the chorus of the kids would think, ooh, mm -hmm. and they did that. But if you notice all the way through, and I said it in the last thing, is yeah. that thum, 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 thum. The theme the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the theme of the music. So, so it's a shame that, that, <laughs> that it wasn't in the, in the movie because, because it was a the theme song it of the Babes in Flames. Yeah, that's so very, very pitiful. It but it's so sad shame. because there they are. Thum, 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 yeah. thum, thum. They're so cute, <laughs> such tippy-toe music. It's uh, very nice, very nice. Well, um, when you... Um, went on in your life, you did a lot of things, you uh, did radio shows, you yes. wrote some of them also. I was, yes. You worked with Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby yes. on the radio. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, you preferred Frank to work with. Oh, yes. Over Bing. Oh, Bing Crosby. Yuck. But what, what was it that Frank did? What uh, you liked? What, what did you like the most about Frank uh, when you compare him to He was to a nice guy. Mm -hmm. He was... Uh, uh, Agnes Ayers he had a radio program on WNEW or something like that. And uh, it was when I was in, still in Harrison. And she was dying of cancer. And they asked me to take over for her one day a week, and then two days a week, mm -hmm. and then three days a week, and then eventually it was my program. Okay. And I had people interviewed uh, on it, and Sinatra came in. And he was he was between stardom. It was when he was out of the mm -hmm. thing, you know, and then he came <laughs> back as Mag. What was his name in uh, From Here to Eternity? Yeah, uh, he is. I, I, back I, as an actor. I can't recall uh, at the moment. Well, he uh, came back <laughs> as an actor, and he was wonderful. And he did, but he for a long time was out. Like when I worked with Crosby, he was out mm -hmm. um, until he came back as a priest and going my way. Oh, going my way. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> going my way is, is that the movie Leo McCary directed? Yeah. And uh, this is going my way. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He sang that in yeah. it. Uh, uh, well, before that, he was a drunk. He was he got himself fat. He was uh, <laughs> he was never on time at the radio station. He insulted everybody <laughs> he could possibly insult. Um, yeah. He was just generally an unpleasant person. And mm -hmm. then he uh, did he became a father. He became a priest, and he stopped drinking. And suddenly, he, he straightened up and flew right after that, but by that time most everybody didn't like him because he'd been so stinking so long. Sinatra, we were on this program, it was called Bill J Big Joe, and I was on the program. And I, it was one of these uh, tearjerker, uh, help people out from mm -hmm. 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock in the morning at WOR, which was a very, uh, was a local station, but it had a great extended miles mm -hmm. across the United States, practically all of it. And he would help people, he would call up, he would help people. And Sinatra, I knew, and he wanted to have somebody to talk to the older women and everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why don't you get Frank? And he came on and he was just so nice and so gentle. And we mm, went to great. old folks' homes and sang to them and different things like that. And he was just a nice, honest, Italian, Glad. Jean, hmm. uh, you had a marvelous career. You worked with very well-known people, 